me take my let me take my take my dino slippers off for this one because it's about to get real i'm about to go all into the tea on this one i have been married for like nine years i've been in all different types of relationships i've been through it y'all i've been through it through it through it so i'm gonna give you guys some of my advice and what i've learned and then see if it can help you in any kind of way so let's get to it there's going to be two parts to this the first the part one which is this one is going to be all about relationship status relationships the red flags when you need to run for the hill a part two to this is going to be about marriages the red flags in marriages is my man cheating on me is my man happy is my man thinking about leaving and this is gonna go from like ages the end of high school till till whenever because i'm currently in a relationship i'm not married anymore so that's why i'm doing this one first because i don't feel like a lot of my subscribers are in high school but if they are i'm gonna give you this one little tip right here and then i'm gonna go into the grown women but the one little tip for my high schoolers or my younger people books before boys books before boys i promise i can't stress this enough there there's four girls in this house i have instilled it in their brain cavities books before boys boys are always gonna be there don't try to be grown in school don't do it. don't try to be grown because i promise promise pinky two pinkies i'm double pinky in you on this one being grown is not fun we have these things every month that come to this house called bills and i promise you don't want none i promise you don't want none so enjoy your enjoy your schooling enjoy your opportunity to learn because in other countries kids don't a lot of kids don't have the opportunity enjoy it enjoy the parties and the proms and enjoy the whole nine enjoy it all go to college enjoy that what i'm gonna say to my grown women if you are talking to a man and let's just say you found him on plenty of fish or facebook or or you met him at the grocery store what have you because i've done all of those okay there's a, a certain extended amount of time that he talks to you let's just say from nine in the morning till five in the evening and i know you guys know where i'm going here if he talks to you continuously da -da 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 ding 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 nine to five around six o'clock your phone is dry your phone is dry you're sitting at home like where is he why isn't he talking to me now hmm wonder what he's doing bob is at home with his family yes he is bob is at home with his whole wife and his whole four children because this man has a whole family at the house every woman sees a man and she's like i could save him or i could change him because that's what us women want to do we want to save everybody you know what bob don't want to be saved bob is married to linda and they are happy he's telling you he's not happy but he is start asking questions bob why don't you talk to me after five o'clock what's going on what is it because you're still delusional you have no idea at this point you're just like hmm, maybe he's just busy he's got four dogs he's taking care of and he lives on a farm and he's bathing the horses you just make all kinds of make all kinds of assumptions because you're trying to see the good in him but deep down you know then you get a phone call ring a ding ding hello hi this is linda this is bob's wife who are you and why is your phone number on my husband's records so there you are you are put in that predicament 
that is like red flag 100 that that is like red flag one two three and four run for the hills get the he double hockey sticks out of there because all this like everything from this point on is just gonna go downhill and lots of feelings are gonna get hurt because you're gonna end up falling in love with Bob. Bob is not leaving Linda and his children because Bob don't wanna pay that child support, I'm telling you. You don't need to be his nine to five. Mm -mm. You don't. You need to be his all the time because being a nine to five is no fun. It's, it's fun from nine to five but after five o'clock, you get lonely. And you know what Bob's doing? Bob's not lonely. Bob's at home cuddled up with Linda, watching their four children play outside. So, so why, why settle? Don't settle for Bob. Don't be like Bob either. If any guys are watching this and you're a Bob, you need to click off because we don't like you. All right, now let's get into the, you're past the whole, all right, he, he he talks to me all the time. We've went on dates out in public. It, it didn't used to be like this before. So why is it like this now? That is where your communication is lacking. Something's up. Either he's got another female that he's running to with all of his problems or he's the type of person who just likes to bundle it all up. Neither of those are good. Neither of those are a good idea. Communication has got to be open all the time. If not, it's going to cause nothing but problems. I promise. Because at the end of the day, you're going to start feeling some type of way. He already feels some type of way because he feels like he can't open up to you. Y'all need to sit down and talk about it. And after you talk about it and think the communication still does not pick up, run for those hills. Run, run, run. The next thing is about family. If his family or his mother does not like you, wait, back up. If him and his mother do not have a good relationship, if she don't love her son, she is not gonna love you. I promise you that and you're not gonna have nothing but drama. I have been in the family drama. Oh my God. It is horrible. It is horrible, which is part of the reason me and this person did not work out was because of the family drama. Everybody gets sick of it and they just <laughs> split and go their separate ways because it's too much. It's too much. So if him and his mama if him and his mama do not have a good relationship, he doesn't respect her as a woman. And if, if a man don't respect his mama, he ain't going to respect you. That's the first thing you need to do is look at how a man treats his mother and then determine, do you want this man to treat you that way? That's the first thing. And you guys try to sit down and come up with a solution as to why they don't like you and if you can or cannot fix it. And if it cannot be fixed, if it is just that broken to where there is no coming back, squash it, squash it, squash it. Cause you know what? There are many men out here with families with, that have open arms, you know? The next one, if they, if this man refuses to make you and y'all's relationship public, huge red flag, like you need to wave this flag, huge red flag. I have been there and done that one too. Um, <clears throat> and the reason that this person was hiding me was because his family was very well known in the town that we were from. We were, we were 20, 20 years old. I had a kid because I had a kid young. You know, and I did not meet his family's standards and he knew that. So, he hid me. And I settled. Yes, I did. For a year and a half, I settled. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was so long ago. Do not be like me. <laughs> Do not be like me. Yep, I never, never went to any of the family events with him. Never could figure out why. 
never went to any of his family functions never never could figure out why i wasn't invited to these things me and my son never spoke to his parents you know never went to his house he always came to mine really late at night we never went to never ever in a year and a half y'all never went on one date never went on one date i was so stupid oh my god i was so stupid <sighs> this is a hard video to make because now i'm looking back and i'm like girl <laughs> but i did he knew better than to bring home a 20 year old girl from ashley height with a baby he knew better i did not meet his family's standards so so if he will not make y'all's relationship public something's wrong either he feels that you don't meet up to his standards and he feels like somebody's gonna have an opinion about it don't settle do not settle because you're better than that you are way better than that i was better than that but i didn't see it i never saw it I was just like, hmm, I, I want to be with him. I don't want to be a single mom. I don't want to be a single mom. Even though he's not the daddy of, of my kid, he stepped in there and he deserves me to be there. No, he did not. I deserved better. Mm -hmm. Me and my son deserved better. I didn't deserve to be thrown in a closet and hid for a year and a half. I deserved to once a month go out on a date. I deserved to be his Facebook profile picture girl. We're together and we we are a team and we are a couple. I want to be your display picture. I want to be something. Shoot, don't hide me. I get it. I understand that a lot of people like to keep their lives private. That's fine. Don't put everything on Facebook. I I go by that rule. I don't put everything on Facebook. But when it, when it comes down to behind the scenes and you're still trying to hide me, something's wrong run for the hills run for the hills here's an oldie but a goodie if they cheated on their ex with you first of all let me just tell you you was wrong for that one i'm gonna just say that because a hey, been there done that. i'm only speaking on things that i have been there done that okay y'all been there done that all right first argument we got into well you cheated on her with me so why ain't you gonna cheat on me with her you know it's just it's a vicious cycle again all of these are vicious cycles if you're not getting that by now it's all just a vicious cycle so if, if you want to be if you want to be the one that he cheats on his girlfriend with and then y'all decide y'all want to be together that's fine that is fine and dandy sometimes those relationships work out sometimes they don't mine did not i'm not gonna sit here and say if he cheated on somebody with you and now y'all are together i'm not gonna say don't be together i'm just gonna say be cautious be very cautious watch for your red flags watch for all the flags you gotta watch for the checkered flag and the green flag on this one because lots of things can happen at this point so enjoy it while it's good if it if it stays good great watch for them flags girl next red flag if you are a whole grown man and you have no transportation and you have no job what are you doing if he has no car if he has no way to get to you to go on a date to come chill and hang out to 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 go to the zoo on the weekend if he has no car why are you even talking to him <laughs> why why are you even wasting your time this man needs to focus on getting his life together if he especially a job run and if you can't run then you need to jog and if you can't jog then you need to walk 
The next one is, if you feel like you can't tell him things, you want to tell them, but you can't because they're you know they're either going to get jealous and accuse you of something or they're going to be mad because you, let's say you went to Target and spent $50 and you did it. You know you did it, but you have to hide it because you know they'll get mad. Don't. Do not. If they just got out of a fresh relationship and now you two are together and he is trying to move things along a little too fast for your likings, you are most likely a rebound. It's just, that's just what it is. If, if he is fresh out of a relationship, you two just boom, get together. And he's trying way too hard to move way too fast. He's trying to fill that spot. And the next best thing that comes along after he has came back to reality that him and this other person are done, he's going to drop you like a hot potato and he is on to the next one. Been there, done that as well. But the, the worst part is, is he was not my rebound. I was single for a few months and got with him he was fresh out of a relationship i ended up being his rebound so guess who gets hurt you do so i would take those i would take the guys that are fresh out of relationships i would take them very slowly i'm not saying don't date them no that's not what i'm saying at all i would be then they would be on turtle mode turtle mode mm -mm. i'm not your girlfriend yet mm -mm. We're friends. We're going to be friends for a minute till you can get over, till you can get over what just happened. If they still communicate with their exes. If your boyfriend and his ex, ex-wife, ex-lover, ex-whatever, X whatever as long as there's an X in front of it it's an X okay if they do not have children together if they have no ties together why do they need to speak no 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 absolutely not no 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 don't stand for it don't stand for the we're just gonna be friends no 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 soon as that happens soon as they approach you with the oh i was talking to my ex today you better whip that head around girl whip the head around nip it in the butt nip it in the butt texting and talking all the time then guess what then they're going to lunch together on their lunch breaks then guess what you know what then boom they get back together they realize they weren't done we weren't done we just needed a break so guess who gets dropped you if you want to be with me you be with me if you want to know what she's doing you go be with her okay if he does not care to know about your past if he really really wants to be with you and is picturing himself with you for a long time He's going to want to know everything about you. Everything. If your needs are not getting met, he's not invested in your happiness. That's just point blank period. You're just kind of there. This is you and this the hand is him. It's like a claw. He picked you. He's just going to sit you right here. He doesn't care how you feel. Doesn't care what makes you happy. Doesn't care if your needs are getting met. Nothing doesn't want to take care of you anything you need to go on go on and pack your little bags and, and be gone be gone Poof. if you're talking to somebody but every time you're together he always has his phone he may not always be on his phone but he always has his phone as soon as y'all split for the evening and he doesn't talk to you for two days but but everything but then you think back and you're like, well, every time we're together, he always has his phone, whether he's on it or not. Because a lot of people, when they're with you, they're not on their phones, but some guys are. 
that's that's hit and miss either way is bad if if he's always on his phone when y'all are together that's bad but the fact that he's always on his phone when y'all are together but as soon as you split he don't answer you for two days you are not top priority you are not and you need to be you need to be top priority because you're worth it all right, if you don't feel important, you're not gonna be confident in the relationship. You're gonna feel like you're on the bottom of the pedestal and something's always gonna come before you. And you don't wanna feel like that, you really don't. I know for a fact, it should not take you three days. Three days to answer my freaking text message or my phone call. Because I know out of three days, you've looked at your phone. So don't hit me with that I haven't seen it. Yes, you did. Out of three days, I know you done looked at the weather, the news, the face, but something. You've looked at something. You just didn't didn't want to respond to me. You need somebody who you shoot them a text. Hey, just want to see how your day's going. Instead of them texting you back, telling you they're having a great day, you want the one that's going to call. He's going to call you and be like, you know what? Thanks for asking. I'm having a great day. How is yours? That's what you want. No, I said that one was going to be my last one, but this one is really going to be my last one. It's the guys who are always seeking attention. Those dry hump my last nerves. I can't stand a man who you're with me. We're together. I don't need you calling me, laughing, telling me that some girl at the gas station just hit on you because you want some attention or you want me to feel some type of way or you want me to feel like I have a prize like another woman just flirted with you. I think it's disrespectful. So that's just a handful of my personal experience red flaggers that you need to get out of those relationships because things are going to go south and you're most likely going to get hurt. Whatever day this one goes up, the following day be looking for the marriage one. Alright, I will see you in the next one.